The day after you process film, you need to take it out of the negative cabinet and cut it up and store it in your cubby. So what you guys need is your film. You can see this film here turned out, it has pictures on it, which is always a good thing. So you'll need your film. You need an orange cleaning cloth, a pair of scissors, a Sharpie marker, and you need a negative sleeve. This is a special clear plastic um, sheet that has little rows divided for your film to slide into. So to start today, you're going to go ahead and take off the clothespins. So you can take off the clothespins from the top and the bottom. You can throw away your little slip of paper towel with your name on it. And then you're going to cut down this film. So this piece right here, this is the leader. This is where um, this is exposed because this is how you loaded your camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here at the end of my film. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna look down at the other end and I'm gonna cut off any extra film at the other end as well. So I'm gonna cut here. Now what I'm gonna do is grab my orange cleaning cloth and I'm just gonna very carefully and gently um, clean the shiny side of my film as I kind of move my film downwards. I'm gonna kind of pull it through my cleaning cloth. Remember to do this gently. You don't wanna scratch your negatives by accident, so I'm doing this nice and gently. As I'm pulling this through here, I can see that there are a couple of spots where photo flow has gotten kind of stuck on my, um, on my photo. It's difficult to see in the video, but right here especially, there's like a streak of um, photo flow that I can see. So any of you with glasses are probably familiar with this, but, um, and this makes it difficult because um, you're gonna have to remove your face mask if you're wearing a face mask today and um, kind of like breathe heavily on this. Kind of like you'd clean your glasses, okay? You kind of breathe, breathe heavily on it. If you still can't get the photo flow off, we can actually re-photo flow this, squeegee it again, hang it back up in the cabinet. Do your best to get it as clean as you can. All right, once it's clean, you wanna make sure you're handling this film from the edges, from the sprocket holes when all possible. We're gonna cut this into strips of five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna cut it in between the photos every five pictures. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You can see here there's a picture that didn't turn out. That's okay, leave it. We don't wanna cut that off and make it too small. So this last strip here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't wanna cut this five and then leave just these two all by themselves because these two photos are gonna be hard to manipulate in the negative carrier in the dark room. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one strip of three and one strip of four. Three negatives is much easier to handle than two, and you definitely never want just one all by itself. After you have your little strips of negatives, you're gonna take your um, clear print file, your um, clear little carrier here, negative sheet, and you're just gonna carefully feed these in to the sheet. These negative carriers are exactly five pictures wide, so you'll see they fit in here nice. I'm gonna put them all the same direction so I can look at them. And remember, I'm handling these with just the edges of the film. I'm handling it by the edges of the film whenever possible. I'm trying to get these in here. So there's three. Strip number four. Gonna watch me struggle. <laughs> And tiny little strip number five. 
All right, there we go. I finally have them all in. So now they're all in one place. They're protected by plastic on both the front and the back. Now I'm gonna put my name on this. So this is Mrs. McFadden and this is my practice film. So Mrs. McFadden, practice. You wanna be sure you put your name and the film assignment on here because um, you will need to be able to identify which negatives you took for which project. And if these ever get lost, I want to know who to return them to. They're frequently left in the darkroom, so I want to make sure they get back to their rightful owner. So when I'm all done, um, my scraps go in the garbage. My clothespins go back in the bin by the sink. My orange cloth and scissors get put away. My negatives get put in my cubby. When it comes time to choose which picture you want to print, you're going to go ahead and take this over to the light tables across my room. You'll turn the light tables on and you'll be able to pick which picture you want to print. This needs to be done the day after you process your film. Um, this helps the negative cabinet not be so crowded and it helps make sure your negatives don't get lost or accidentally claimed by somebody else. So make sure you're doing this the day after you process film. Thank you.